Okay, welcome back guys. On this one, we're gonna decode an ad that's targeted at children. Well, let me correct that statement. It's not actually targeted at children. It's targeted at parents who have children or taking care of children or caregivers. And again, it has strong imagery and some really good takeaways. So stick with me and we're gonna unpack it right now. All right, so as I promised, on this one, we're gonna decode an ad that's targeting parents. So this is a good chance if you have anything that's in that space to take a look at some of what the big money is doing when they're talking to parents. So let's take a look and reveal this one and let it sink in for a second here. All right, so if you guys have been with me for a little bit on the channel, you're gonna see right away that this amazing image of this kid now is she's so happy and she's got a sling and a broken arm right but she feels great she's happy and she's throwing her head back she's like kind of almost looks like she's dancing but this is a kid that is feeling good despite the fact that they're injured so awesome image right so what does that image tell us in advertising that image tells us something really important that we can do in copywriting, but we can also do with a picture and it's demonstrated very well here. And that concept is get the benefit without the pain. Get the thing you want without the pain. Get skinny without exercise. We've seen that one a million times, right? So this one is get care without feeling horrible or sad or in pain or crying, right? Or anything that parents of course, would be worried about that their children would have to experience, right? If a child gets injured, we want the kid to be feeling this great after they leave the hospital, which is the implication of this image right here. So really well done, but remember that concept, right? The image is, is doing something we normally do in copy where we write, get X without Y pain, learn more, right? Which is the call to action on this ad coincidentally. So let's just unpack the copy here a little bit. Routine care for fit for kids. Okay, Phoenix Children's Hospital. So this is a big hospital group here in Arizona. And um, in fact, my daughter went to this hospital when she broke her arm and got the same pink cast. And I have pictures of her where she was doing great as well. So this one kind of popped out at me because I had a personal experience with them. They are a, a good operation down there. The, the big block text here, they did a really good job, right, with the, with the copy here. The messaging is five words. We always like to see that. So we got routine care, one, two, fit for kids, one, two, three, four, five, boom. And they floated this text right in here a little bit. And I think deliberately, it would have been easy to take this text and kind of put it up here in the header, but it would have invaded us enjoying this girl's throwing her hair back and kind of pulled away from that. So if you think about how we read left to right, starting over here, well, starting over here up at the corner of the ad, our eye starts here. We register her joy and exuberance first, then our eye can kind of move across to the messaging. Okay, so there's a reason why they kind of tucked this down here. It was not happenstance. It's not because it fit better, right? Because look, there's all this headroom up here, but we wanted her to be the first area of focus because that, again, this ad, and we're on kind of a track here with this. This one picture is just doing so much of the heavy lifting right here. It's just telling the whole thing. It's telling everything about the ad that we want to convey, which is again, get the thing without the pain, right? When we start off with joy at the Tupper Life Hand Corner, then we get into what we're offering, which is routine care, but we focus on kids. And then we have this branding right here. This is just branding. It's not copy. This is what they call themselves. This is the logo at the hospital. It's a cute, well done logo. Obviously that has a whole bunch of other imagery we don't have to dive into right now. And then our awesome call to action down here, learn more. Interesting. They put a period on that. We see that and we don't see that. Um, I'm wondering if they did that to sneak past Facebook's no button, um, policy on ads running on social, which is a possibility. I don't know if it worked or not, but you, we see it with a period without, I'm not going to get hung up on that, but either that's the button, that's the call to action. We know that learn more performs incredibly well, and you're going to see it time and time again, as we decode these ads. But this one, the takeaway is 
Again, letting the image be read first, sticking with our five words or less on the copy, making a call out about your primary service here, right? Routine care. That's what they're after, right? They want you to just take, take their kid there for any appointment, not just accidents and injuries, right? Or, and maybe this is, you know, routine care for kids is dealing with them when they get hurt. All kids get hurt a few times, right? Really good stuff here though. The color treatment's nice, good contrast. The black border, I'll just let you know, is from me snipping it, did not have a frame on it. This guy saw, they'll disregard that part. But yeah, good stuff. So again, if you guys learned something about using a limit, taking the image up, getting that as the beginning of your storytelling on this ad, split second, we can see that this kid is happy. We can see it's for their medical care. And we know that if we click it, we can learn more about what they can do for our kid. Really well done. Smash that like button if you guys want to keep decoding and learning more about ads and copy and structure, which applies to our emails, applies to our website pages, applies to our pop-ups, and applies to our advertising. So we're looking at ads, but we're learning skills and learning to decode so that we can apply that to all of our marketing. Go ahead and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.